All right, so I got some comments the other day uh, from someone who was looking at a previous video I made on how to use the OPZ with Ableton Live, and they had a lot of questions about the uh, the send tracks. So today I'm just going to go through and show you um, what I did to basically enable Ableton Live to send MIDI to the OPZ, and um, yeah, I'll try to walk through this and quickly with some detail. So, um, so just to get started on how things are set up, um, I have an OPZ send group. These are all MIDI channels. I have channel one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Each one of these tracks represent the eight tracks on the OPZ that have drums and audio. And so let's just start on track one. So track one here, I created a, a drum rack with Ableton Live um, so that I could basically use Ableton Push as a controller uh, to control the OPZ. And I mapped out each of these drum. I can basically um, hit the drum, hit the pads on the push and it'll hit the different kick drums on the OPZ when I have this track armed. Uh, mind you, it's really important um, to have the monitor in on to be able to hear this. And uh, yeah, let's see. And then the other important thing is the external instrument here is on that track as well. If you'll notice, it says MIDI 2 OPZ and then channel 1 for MIDI channel 1. I don't have audio input coming from anything. In this case, I'm just using it to send MIDI to the OPZ. Um, let's go to uh, track two. This is the snare drum track on the OPZ. I created another custom uh, drum rack instance here uh, that basically is mapped out to the same notes, MIDI notes on the OPZ that actually have uh, different different snare drums. Interesting. So OPZ channel 2. Oh, I know what's going on. So let me turn monitor off and monitor in to on on this channel. Now I can hear the input of Ableton Push on the OPZ. Turn this to off. Go to track Three, arm it, and now I should be able to hear hi hats. This is also another instance of a Ableton drum rack, and on the external instrument you'll see MIDI two, OPZ, and MIDI channel three. I don't have any hardware latency set here. Um, not going to get into that today. Uh, let's see, now track four is the sort of percussion or whatever track. Um, I have another drum rack instance here that I created, custom for this. And you'll notice the external instrument here. So let me turn the monitor off there. Track four, monitor in. So now I can hear my MIDI inputs from the push when I press this. Cool. So OPZ, MIDI 2, and then channel 4 MIDI. Let's go to the next track, which is the bass track. And what's, what you'll notice here is that there is no drum rack instance. You can play basically any note. You don't have to limit your. So that's me playing on the push. Um, yeah, it's working. And I'll turn the monitor to off. Let's go to track seven. And now this is, I think, just the lead. Yep, so that's working. Turn the monitor to off. This is the arpeggiator. That's me pressing a button on the push. And you notice the external instrument says 
MIDI 2 OPZ, MIDI channel 7, which corresponds to track 7 on the OPZ. And finally, we'll go to the OPZ chord. We'll turn monitor to on, so the OPZ is able, so we're able to monitor the MIDI input from the push. You'll see the external instrument says OPZ and then MIDI channel 8. And you can hear my input from the push. Um, so for this configuration to work right now, um, I think the other important things to know are how you have stuff set up in your preferences in Ableton Live. So let's see. In this case, you'll notice I can turn sync off. So I don't want to be really listening for anything coming from the OPZ. I'm just focused on having Ableton send MIDI to the OPZ, and in this case, just having Ableton manage the, the master clock so that the OPZ is listening for MIDI clock. So I've basically turned off all these things here. Um, track is off, sync is off, remote is off. Now for output to OPZ, this is different. Um, so track is set to on and remote is set to on. I could also send sync, I could also have sync set to on as well. And yeah, so now with this setup, I should be able to create some basic beats here and hear it. And here, let me just create a simple sequence in Ableton Live. Turn monitor to auto. You notice it doesn't matter if I have these tracks muted or unmuted in live because I think this setting on the external instrument is just overriding that, which is fine as long as I can. Mo uh, basically, my workaround here is using the monitor in auto and off to manage that type of thing. It's a workaround, it's not ideal. Um, yeah. And then let's move over to the snares. Let me just put a little simple thing there. Now you can see I have live doing its thing and still the critical point again is that I am able to switch this on so monitor is set to auto. I'll just record that in. Bars. There we go. Um, so, all right, so that's just Ableton Live sending uh, MIDI notes over to the OPZ. Um, yeah, and I think the other critical thing to know is that the MIDI settings on your OPZ should be, at least in this case, this is what I have. I have MIDI in enable on, clock in enable on, everything else set to off. So that's about as simple as I can make it without um, putting it on the screen for you. Uh, so I just wanted to do this quick video um, since I, I did have a lot of comments from uh, someone named Dan on this video, uh, previous video I made that featured this uh, this template and yeah I felt like it was important to clear it up um, I did put in a decent amount of work on the drum rack stuff uh, basically creating these uh, for the OPZ uh, and doing custom mappings to each note um, so I thought about it I'm gonna basically save this template and make it available to people for download um, so if you want to use it, fine. If you don't, that's fine too. But if you want to use it, like I can only offer so much support on it. Um, it's I'm I'm not really. If I had it, if I had a choice, I would prefer to make 
um, uh, max MSP devices that would be better suited for this because I feel like there's this is a bit hacky there's a lot of little nuances and workarounds but the important thing to know to use this template you have to really kind of just mess with the monitor MIDI monitors um, turn them on and off when you need to that's basically how you like mute and unmute uh, MIDI to and from uh, MIDI to the uh, the OPZ um, the nice thing about this too is you can actually kind of like uh, hit record on your OPZ and record in some of the performance stuff that you have here but uh, just a heads up synchronization on MIDI clock might be a little not ideal um, as you'll see in my previous video that's just something you have to work around so that's it for today I just wanted to get this out there hopefully this uh, template is helpful to you and um, and yeah let me know what you think in the comments alright thanks bye